Ross represents. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, usual YouTube bullshit. Right, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to test this because it went off at Asda's for £3.50. And it's supposed to be diesel booster. Now, before I start, I'm not going to dyno it or anything like that. This is just going to be my unprofessional opinion as to as it works or not. But if you have a read of that, it's supposed to boost power, boost performance and boost combustion so what I'm going to do is I've got about 20 litres of fuel in this car I'd say and this is meant to treat I think 50 litres so I put less than half of it in um, and then I'm going to see if for a start I'm going to see if it quietens it down at all makes it tick over smoother anything noticeable and if it makes it feel any peppier. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's dump some in the tank. Right, so we're gonna put about two fifths of this in. Splash more just for good luck. There we go. And it is always better to put it in before you put the fuel in so it mixes. So just try and shake the car a bit, but nah, it'll just do that when it goes around the corner, won't it? Right, so just gone over a couple of speed bumps, so now it should be mixed a little bit. And I've not noticed any difference yet. There's a surprise. Now this car always, I mean, it goes all right for what it is, but let's see if it helps at all before the turbo spills up. Because that's, if anywhere, where it's a bit flat. Right, now instead of a foot tap this week, I've actually made something really good. Get it in sharp, there we go. And this is an automated drumstick. Right, so it does this. Right, so, because if I don't do something to actually prove anything or disprove anything, it's just going to be a video on my opinion on whether this stuff works. So, I'm going to mix it, there's 50 mils of diesel in there. I'm going to put one milliliter of this stuff in with it. Right. Mix that up. And then I'm going to burn the two and see if there's any difference. Right, so this is one milliliter of normal diesel. Hard to get it burning, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think this experiment's gonna work. Right, so this is with the CTM booster, and oh, I'll say if, it was, if it's any different, but if it actually burns, that'd be different, wouldn't it? Because the other stuff, well, diesel's quite hard to get burning. Right, so verdict time. Has it made any difference? Uh, yes, but negligible. It's The main difference I've noticed is when I start the car from cold, um, it's always had a little bit of a, I won't say a misfire, but you know, cold diesel, a bit of a, a bit jump, a bit lumpy, and this, it, it starts up and it's smooth straight away. There's also, when you put your foot down, there's always been a little haze of smoke. Once again, it's never smoked a lot, but that seems to have gone down a bit. Um, I've always run this on V-Power, so I've always run it on good fuel anyway. But as far as making it any faster, it's not turned it into a Le Mans car. It's, you know, it's not made 
it's not made a huge difference but it's, it's it has made a little difference uh, I'd like to have put it on a dyno but I haven't got one so this is as good as I can really do when I tried to burn it when I was actually burning the diesel you couldn't at the time you couldn't tell any difference but watching it back in slow motion the stuff with the c turn booster in it or the diesel booster in it does seem to burn a little bit faster so you know maybe that shows a little bit but yeah not as scientific as what I would have liked but it's, it's as good as I could really do what I had.